Now, my next guest has had 10 Brit nominations, 7 billion global streams, and she's back with new music. Anne Marie is here, and that was um, the last song. There was the latest single, Unhealthy, from the album Unhealthy. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you're here. This is just brilliant. What a day. <laughs> um, this is a new album, and it's, it's a kind of a, a different sort of a feel in that it sort of feels like you've poured your real self into this album. Yeah. I think you've put yourself out there probably more than you have done with the other two. Yeah, I feel like every song I write is, is about my life. So it's definitely real, realness. But I think as you grow up and you learn all about yourself and you become more you, that's, that's when the music gets even more real. Mm -hmm. So I do feel like I've been through so much and so many ups and downs. But in this album, I just thought, oh, I just want to have fun now. I'm done with being serious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, interestingly, um, you feel that stopping therapy helped mm. inspire this album because normally when, when talking to musicians, it's the other way around. Well, it's been both ways. So when we went into lockdown, I started therapy and that inspired the whole second album. Mm. So the second album was called Therapy and it was all about that, like learning all of that stuff. And then I came out of that and realized that I'd become so understanding of my brain, which is a beautiful thing. But I'd become so understanding and so logical with my emotions that I didn't really feel extreme emotions anymore. And I was like, oh God, I need that to write songs. <laughs> so I kind of went into this, um, this writing thing for this album and just told everyone, just ignore what you think I am and what music you think that I'm going to make and just let's just make something that excites us all with no boundaries mm. and no, you know, all of that stuff. And it was just so much fun. And I think you can hear it in the music. I've just gone a bit crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but you've, you, you've loved it. And as you say, you can, you can tell. And there's this collaboration with the mighty Shania Twain. I, I mean, I've loved that woman for as long as I can <laughs> remember. Too. And here you are. And this came about just because of a text that you happened to send. Well, so I had done this song last year and I just bought out Psycho. And I, and I was like, how do I release a country pop song after releasing Psycho, which is like the complete opposite? And um, thought, who could I collaborate with to make this make sense? And obviously Shania Twain is the countryest pop woman ever. <laughs> and. Um, I just, I, I asked her and I just said, do you like this song? Do you want to sing it with me? And she replied saying, I love it. I'm in the studio tomorrow in London for one more day. Come and meet me there. And I was like, okay. That was it, clear the diary. And yeah. uh, <laughs> but it was meant to be because obviously we're both everywhere around the world all the time. And we were both in London on that one day. And, it and she was just, just about talking about playing, oh, I'll do the guitar. Like she was completely all in, she wasn't had, she? She was cocking her leg up. She was playing, she, she was just brilliant. She's brilliant. That is fantastic. As you can tell, that di that different sound. And like you say, mm -hmm. to come from one style of music to yeah. this is actually different. But you, you do love country music. It's the yeah. melodies, it's the words. It's beautiful. I mean, in this album, I've experimented with loads of different things because I've grown up with Avril Lavigne and yeah. Paul Weller and all these amazing people. And I've always felt like I'm a pop singer. I should stay in my lane. Um, and I love pop music, but... In this album, I've done like a rock pop song. I've done the country song. I've done all different. I've got. I've gone to my musical theatre roots in this. I've mm -hmm. done a little Oliver Twist twist. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I've just experimented, and I've honestly, I'm so proud of it. I'm just so happy. That's it's great, and you can tell actually. You do. You just you <laughs> want to get it out there now, don't yeah. you? And there's a tour obviously coming up yeah. later on as well. November, so. mm -hmm. November. So currently, I'm doing like a little intimate show thing for the album release. So I'm doing album signings and little shows. And then for November, it's the big arenas. So that's gonna be a dream because obviously last album, I weren't, we weren't able to tour. Yeah, so now I'm just getting it all out. And um, yeah, that's gonna be brilliant. You're just ready for it. Well, I do know in amongst the, the, the madness and the busyness of life right now, you like to relax yeah. and I get this. 
colouring in. Anne oh, Marie. yeah. And I know you invited fans along recently to take <laughs> yeah. part in your colouring in session. Yep. I totally get this. My five-year-old, almost five-year-old in September, sits and colours in. She gets bored after 10 minutes and I find myself 20 minutes later still doing it. <laughs> I say, well, I, I could stop, yeah. but there's just something about it. I know, I know, I'm the same. I, I feel like I'm exactly like your child. I am, my attention span is so short. I can't concentrate on many things for that long, but colouring in and Lego. Lego! I can do for hours. You need to come round to my house. I, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just those two things. And obviously, like writing music, I can just do forever and ever. And it, yeah, those three things are the things that relax me the most. Yeah, well, you, ne you need to find your thing, don't you? Yeah. Because you talk about tour, write music, being in a studio, that's all very stressful. It's yeah. fun, but yeah. it's stressful. <laughs> yeah. So you need to find something else that's just easy. Oh yeah, I have a whole town of Lego. I've done a jazz club, I've done um, a police station, a library, I've done it all. <laughs> <laughs> got the whole town in my house. You've got roads, <laughs> yep, street trains, lights. Yeah. That's got it all. <laughs> Can you please send us pictures of all yeah, of that? Yeah, okay. I will. I'm, I'm proud. I'm, I'm coming back to this the next time I see you because <laughs> that's the best thing I've ever heard. Um, Anne Marie's new album, Unhealthy, is out now. It's brilliant. And back on tour in November. Yeah. Thanks so much, Anne Marie. Thank it's such you. a pleasure to see you this morning.